to uh, my rigging tutorial thing. Uh, last time we modeled and it turned out pretty cool. As you can see, our mesh here is like a cartoony character, which is exactly what I want. And today we are going to be adding textures. Okay, so this will probably be like a, a mini mini video where I'll get into the basic parts of texturing in this video and then the more complicated things in another video because I'm not that experienced at Blender right now, I only know a few things. So the basic texturing, I guess. Okay, here we go. Basic texturing. First of all, we go, uh, well, you know, we go over to here, the material properties. And then we go over to, oh, I already have a material here. So I'll just do that. I'll do the torso first. Okay, there's our material. And then, and if you want to make a new material, then we can just press new. That's a new material. Right now, I'm going to go here and change the name to torso. And because this is the torso, and this is going to be the color of the torso. So, yeah. Here we go. So, we make this a torso, and we go over to base color. You can use an image texture if you want, but for now, I'm going to be using colors because uh, there's complicated stuff with the image texture. So since it's just going to be a base, since this is just going to be a base, I'm going to set the color to gray, like gray color, because that's a base color for me, I guess. And you can set the reference f roughness. Why is it at four? It shouldn't be at four. It should be at five at the default. Zero point five for default roughness. But I don't want zero point five anyway. So I'll just go over to one. It makes it kind of rough, and I can make this a bit higher, a bit lighter. So I don't want it to be like that. Okay. So we basically have a color gray. I know this is really simple. This is going to be a really short tutorial, so that's, that's good. And this is mainly for beginners. This tutorial. And then something I barely discovered was the uh, subsurface subsurface option. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I keep on messing up on my words, but okay. Um, subsurface is really, really, really cool. Because it does this. Bam. I just turned it white, I know. It's orange. It's, I don't know why it's orange, but it looks really cool. Let's see if I change this. Oh, I don't know why it makes it orange, but I mean, it's just the shading looks really nice. Maybe I'll return it down a bit. Turn it to 0 0.5, maybe. Because you know you don't want too much subsurface. And then we can set the. And as you may have noticed, it makes it white when you put the subsurface up. And I don't want that to be white. So what we can do is set the subsurface color right here to gray. Or the color that we you know we want. And then it's gray. Amazing. Perfect. Perfectly amazing. And then you can experiment around with the roughness and see what kind of stuff you get. Well, I mean, it's basically the same thing when you change the roughness, but it's pretty cool. So, yeah. And then we can kind of set the subsurface down a bit. Like here, maybe. or a bit more. I don't know. I'm gonna set it all the way up because it looks really nice to me. As uh, let me set it to render cycles. And 
as you can see. Okay, this is going to be faster. Sorry. Okay, looks kind of orange. I did not know that. So I'll just put uh, something down here in the settings. I don't know. But I think it really looks really nice. I'm just gonna set the subsurface to 0 0.5. And then. Yeah, it makes my uh, computer kind of laggy, but it looks nice. There. It looks really nice, as you can see here. Okay. Now, you can just this with the other stuff. The skin here, I'll just use this example to thing that I did. I'll name it skin. And the character skin as you can see is you know that color. So I'll just make it white here because that's how I do it. And you know you can make it whatever you want. Like you can do it. can do this color too. Ah, oh, it doesn't look too bad. But I'm going to stick with this color for now. Okay. And then we can put the roughness up as well. Because I don't want a shiny head. But we, you know, you get that. So, you put the roughness up. And you can put the subsurface up again. And put it to 0.5. It's better. And then do the same thing here and yeah it's very cool okay we basically do the same thing with the arms uh so yeah see and now we have pretty a uh, good character it's a lot better because now he has color Unless you want a, a character with no textures or anything. I'll get into the more complicated stuff another time, like the images for the textures, the image textures, and mix mixing two sh two textures together. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really really cool. I never knew about the subsurface thing until now. Because I've seen this rig that has it, and I'm like, what? How is it? How does it look so good? And now I know, which is great. So yeah, great, amazing textures. Okay, we have part two down. That's good.